Welcome everyone, my name is Gary Daniels. I'm with LMU Community TV and WLMU 91.3 FM, Cumberland Gap Radio. And we're in the green room at the Palace for the uh, third annual Levitt Ant Middlesbrough Music Series. And our guest today is Emily Ann Roberts. Emily, it's a great pleasure to meet you. Oh, it's nice to meet you. And uh, how was the trip up from Knoxville? Oh, it was good. It was easy. I've been, I've road tripped all the way to Minnesota. That's been my longest trip. So Knoxville to here was only like an hour and a half. I blinked and we were here. So you're in the neighborhood as it were. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, tell, tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from and your music. So I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee, mm -hmm. and um, I've lived there my whole life. And um, the mountain music and the Appalachian Mountains have influenced uh, definitely who I am as an artist and as a singer-songwriter. And um, I love country music and uh, bluegrass. And, um, so I've been pursuing my country career since The Voice and traveling around and singing, and, and it's been it's been so much fun. Your musical journeys have taken you many places, and and I, you've been described as having an old soul for the and this love for vintage country music, as you just mentioned, and and the traditional mountain sounds and southern gospel, and gospel bluegrass, and yet you add a, a a new sound to it that translates for all generations because your music does appeal to old, young and old alike. And, and what is that like for you in that part of your musical journey? Uh, well, it means the world to me that people respond to my music, and that's why I do it. Mm -hmm. um, to touch others and um, to brighten their days and encourage them and just let them have a good time. But um, yeah, for sure, I've grown up on um, classic country music, singing along to Loretta Lynn and Dolly Parton, and, and to the bluegrass people too. I mean, it's just in my blood. So um, I found a way to um, really intertwine um, that more vintage sound with um, what I do and um, because I definitely want to be a current country artist and that's what I am uh, making music for and so um, I've just kind of found that happy medium mm -hmm. um, with the new fresh sound and I'm um, giving it that old vintage kind of flavor to it. And I, and I think we spoke yesterday when you called in to WLME Radio, we were talking about how uh, the younger generation, they are thirsting for original music. Mm -hmm. And, and you, bring them, you bring them this, and in your songwriting as well. Tell us a little bit about your songwriting and what inspires you and uh, uh, the, the artists of the past, but also in your life experience. Well, um, goodness, so many people have inspired me, like Ricky Skaggs and, like I said, Dolly Parton earlier. Um, Dolly's songwriting and just how real and vulnerable and storytelling she is in her songs um, really has inspired me because that's what I want to do. I want I want um, to be real in all my music and um, to just share real stuff about life that people go through. And um, so th those people have really influenced me. Um, Ricky Skaggs, Patty Loveless, Dolly Parton, um, Daryl Scott, Tim O'Brien. I mean, I could go on and on forever, but. Um, they've been huge influences in my music and in my songwriting. Now your musical journey has taken you all the way to Los Angeles mm -hmm. where the NBC's talent competition, uh, The Voice for se uh, season nine, and you were runner up, which congratulations Thank are Thank you so much. Yes indeed. <laughs> and I understand that you got to perform with Blake Shelton and Ricky Skaggs yes. and mentored by uh, Dolly Parton and Brad Paisley. Mm -hmm. I mean that is what an honor, what a journey. I know, it was, it was crazy. I, uh, Definitely, I would go back to my hotel room and say, oh, did that actually just happen? Am I dreaming? Like, am I going to wake up? Um, but no, I never did. I wasn't dreaming. It was real. And um, it was incredible. I mean, I wouldn't trade any of the, um, even some of the hard times that I had out in L.A. when I was homesick and mm -hmm. um, missed all my friends and my boyfriend and my sweet family back at home. I wouldn't trade any of it. It was incredible. It was such a blessing. Now, what was the, what was the journey? Where did it begin? What took you to the voice. So um, my family and friends had always said like, oh, you should audition for American Idol and The Voice. And it was never something that I really was like gung ho about. Um, mm -hmm. I just never thought that, I never really had the confidence. I never thought that I would make it. Um, but my dad used to record me playing music on my guitar and um, singing songs. And he recorded me singing a Carrie Underwood song and posted it on YouTube. And a few months later, we got an email from a casting producer from The Voice, mm -hmm. and she was inviting me and my family to come down to Atlanta, Georgia for a callback audition. So I thought, well, what do I have to lose? So the whole family loaded up in the car, and we went down to Atlanta, Georgia, and 
Um, that led to another audition, which led to my first airplane ride out to LA. And so it was a, it was a whole lot of firsts in my life, but, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was so much fun. It was, and it just fell in my lap. It was truly a, a gift from God. And, and part of your gift from God is your love for Southern gospel music and gospel bluegrass and mountain music. What was it like for you personally to be on that stage, to be able to present to the world the music of our Southern Appalachians? Um, it was an honor. It was uh, such an honor to represent um, this part of the country. I mean, so many people, um, especially out west, think they have their minds made up about what they think we're like in the <laughs> South and all that stuff. But um, it, it was an honor to represent um, the Appalachia area, mm -hmm. for sure. Now, uh, you're going on stage here this evening at 7, uh, 7.30, uh, the Levitt Ant Middlesbrough Music Series. We're excited of having you on stage and the performance. We look forward to that. Um, real quick question, the audiences. What do you take from the audiences? What do you give to the audience? And what do they give back to you? Um, well, hopefully, um, I give them a good time. Right. Um, so that's my job. If I can brighten somebody's day or let them come and not worry about what's going on and just um, relax in the music and enjoy mm -hmm. themselves, then I've done what I, what I want to do. Um, so when the audience responds well to me, it, it makes me uh, have so much more fun on stage and um, when they receive it well. And, I'm, and I try to I give my all for whether I'm singing for five people or 5,000. So yes, um, yeah, I'm excited. It's, it's going to be so much fun. I feel like this crowd's going to be awesome. Yes, indeed. Well, again, we're very happy that you're here. Thank you for uh, letting us visit with you here at the Green Room at the Palace. Mm -hmm. And uh, we uh, look forward to your performance on stage. Thank you so much. My name is Gary Daniels. I'm with LMU Community TV and WLMU Cumberland Gap Radio FM 91.3. We thank you for joining us.